How many Muslims know that one of the wives of Muhammad became an apostate after his death? But first, don't forget to smash that like button. We can find the story of one of the wives of Muhammad leaving Islam in at tabaqat Al-Kubra by Ibn Sa'ad in volume 8 on page 147. We can read, Al-Ash'ad bin Qais told Muhammad, Shall I marry you a woman of beauty and lineage? Muhammad said, Who? Al-Ash'ad said, My sister Qutayla. So Muhammad married her. Notice, she became the wife of Muhammad. Then her brother Al-Ash'at left to Hadramut. Then he left the faith, i.e. Islam, when he heard that Muhammad had died. Then he sent her, meaning the wife, back to her land. And he became an apostate. And Qutayla became an apostate. And so did others as well. Later, this same ex-wife of the Prophet even married another man, Ikrama bin Abi Jahl. And Caliph Abu Bakr wanted to burn her alive. But Umar said, leave her alone because she is not considered to be among Ummahat al muminin anymore. Notice, the wife of Muhammad, Qutayla, and her brother both left Islam after the death of Muhammad, like many Muslims who left Islam becoming apostates. Abu Bakr, as the first caliph of the Ummah, then raised the famous Ridda Wars, the apostasy wars, to bring back the apostates back to Islam by force or else. But wait, you know me, I can't end this video without bringing you the boom. If we go to the Quran in chapter 24, Surah An-Nur, verse 26, we can read, Al-Khabithatu lil khabithina وَالْخَبِيثُونَ لِلْخَبِيثَاتِ إِلَىٰ آخِرِ الْآيَةِ Translation, corrupt women are for corrupt men, and corrupt men are for corrupt women, to the rest of the ayah. Since an apostate is considered to be a khabith in Islam, then Muhammad must be a khabith as well, according to the logic of this verse. So the conclusion is, Prophet Muhammad turns out to be a corrupt and very evil man according to the Quran. Oh boy. Don't forget to share this video on social media and stay away from Islam.